Well, you mentioned Randy Reese. Now, listen, a lot of people know Eddie, and a lot of people um, know a lot about Eddie. Um, I don't know if everybody knows a lot about Randy. They know Randy exists, but he's a little bit more private than Eddie. So tell us about Randy and, and uh, growing up and being coached by him. Um, so for me, the first thing when I tell people, like, I swam for Randy Reese growing up, he everyone's like whoa <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. that's always the first reaction I get from coaches they just know who he is and mm. know kind of how he has his techniques and um, he's tough he's really really tough and I'm really grateful because when coaches know that I've swam for him they're like this girl she knows how to work mm. and because that's what I did as young when I was younger was just some of the sets that we did then I'm like I can't even do that now I'm like no thank you mm. um but he's really tough you know I think he's made me who I am he influenced my swimming and how I view swimming so much from I swam for him since I was 11 until I was 18 so uh, I think like during the developmental stages, he was so influential to me. And still to this day, I talk to him all the time. Um, I went when COVID had hit and I couldn't swim at AM, I was like, can I come to Florida? And he was like, Ugh. and I was like, OK, you want me to come? And he was so <laughs> excited for me to come. And he was chatting me away like 24 seven. I was like, you miss me. And he was like, I wouldn't go that far. And I was like, yes, you do. And we've always had really good banter back and forth. Um and so, I mean, he's great. He's definitely really tough, and um, but I wouldn't change anything, and he's been there for me and still is to this day. Well, that's interesting. I'm, I'm kind of glad you put it that way because there is kind of like this negativity, you know, negative <laughs> vibe about him in terms of like, he's tough, and that's all we know about Randy. But then there's obviously a side that is that is caring for sure. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't have stayed with him that long. You wouldn't want to go back to that guy if you don't know that like deep down he cares for you, right? Oh yeah, 100, 100%. I think um, even to this day, he still talks to my mom all the time. And um, even like his wife, like we knew super well when I was growing up. And I think I was someone who I'm not really afraid to push back um, but also with a lot of respect. And I think that was the biggest part of our relationship was I was willing to question out of curiosity and wanting the knowledge, not really push back as a kid, just being like, I don't want to do this. I was like, no, like this doesn't make sense to me. Like you need to explain this to me. And just that was kind of our personalities. And mm. um, yeah, I mean, we worked really well together and there's times where even now, if I just kind of feel lost in the sport, I can always call him and um, I know he'd be like, just come back here and come swim with me at any time. He's always been really open to that. And um, yeah, I mean, I've called him out of the blue a few times in crisis mode and he's like, oh, here we go. But he's, <laughs> I was like, you miss having me around all the time. And I know he does and he'll never admit it, but um, mm. yeah, he, he's a great coach for sure. So in, in terms of that, then what, what are the things that people are missing or what, or what are the things they need to understand? I mean, he values, he obviously values hard work. I think we understand that. But in terms of the the hard work that you're doing, what what is it exactly? I mean, there's there's volume um, attached to it, obviously, I guess. And so, you know, what is the work that you're doing under him? I think the biggest thing was I always wanted to be a smart swimmer when it came to sets. And again, like knowing the purpose of what you're doing and showing that you care more than just, okay, I'm going to go and it's kind of going through the motions, which I think there's some practices where I don't have the mental capacity and it's just like going through the motions. And mm. I think everybody has those on those days, but he wants you to show up and show that you understand there's a purpose for what you're doing. And yeah. I guess showing that in either asking your questions or um, understanding when you're supposed to be going, understanding what times you should be holding and mm. understanding just those technicalities, I think is a huge part of why I work so well with him because he wasn't going to every single rep tell you what you're doing with your technique wrong. He wanted you to be a smart swimmer on your own and know what he told me a week ago. You start, you should be still thinking about that. He's like, I don't need to tell you every single time that you need to be breathing this pattern or you need to have this many kicks. He wants you to always have that knowledge in the back of your mind and um, I think showing that and always just being really, really present with your swimming um, was the biggest part, I think.